hello everyone thank you so much for always watching my videos coming to my channel it's really i just need to take this moment before i start the video to really appreciate you for those of you who are always here who are always wishing thank you uh, who are always watching thank you so much and if you've not subscribed maybe this might be a good time for you to subscribe i put out three videos every day talking about you know topical issues it uh, in nigeria issues on governance you know issue on politics governance and the general well-being uh, of the of the country so thank you so much for always being here and watching my videos well Labour Party has been in the news for all the wrong reasons you can think about. It's unbelievable the things that people can do when it comes to power. You know, when it comes to power, most people don't think about the greater good. It seems people always focus on their own selfish needs and selfish interests. And what is, for me, what is even more ironical is that the same people who hold other people accountable who talk about when other people are using power selfishly when it comes to them they don't seem to remember then i'm like how is it that you're not holding yourself to higher standards than you hold uh, any other person but you see uh, what has come out of the fact that there has been a convention a lot of people didn't want that convention where uh, abure led apc uh, it led a uh, labor party went all the way to Newi, Newi, to have their uh, convention. And of course, um, you saw the outcome. I think almost all of them had been returned, all sorts of things, you know, going on. And at the end of the day, everything is about leadership. And sometimes when you don't have when when people can see the bigger picture and see what can be and that it, you don't necessarily have to be in the seat of power being the one driving it all you can do is get people others who, who will drive it more better than you do and just stay behind and just see your dream expand but hey not everybody seems uh, to have it but anyway in the midst of all the drama that is going on we have, uh, yeah, the convention uh, has held, Aburi has been returned, and a good number of all the other people that were there. Th then we have this, yesterday, there was a, a press release, the board of trustees of the Labour Party takes over the running of the party. Uh, this is a release that came out yesterday. In the meantime, the NLC, of course, have also been fighting uh, the Labour Party because that's that Labour Party is a party of the uh, NLC. It's like yeah, the political arm, their their own their party. And of course, they didn't like all this issue of convention, the way the convention was being held. If you have want to have con convention, why are you not starting it at the world level, you know, and and, and world congresses and and all of that? But then, of course, we were focused more on this. But this is what we have from. Labour Party Board of Trustees. The Board of Trustees of the Labour Party takes over the running of the Labour Party. It says, following the expiration, 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 which one is the right pronunciation? Let me know in the comment section. Following the expiration of the tenure in office of the immediate past National Working Committee of the Labour Party, headed by Mr. Julius Abure, the Board of Trustees of the Labour Party, in line with the Labour Party Constitution, so now they are saying they have a constitutional right to do this that they are doing, and it's in the Labour Party uh, Constitution, has stepped in to steer the affairs of the Labour Party. This step is to avoid any leadership vacuum in the Labour Party. Furthermore, the Board of Trustees of the Labour Party, in consultation with major stakeholders in the party, will soon communicate the process of the conduct of an all-inclusive and expansive national convention of the Labour Party. This is in line with the March 20, 2018 Federal High Court Consent Judgment delivered by Justice Gabriel Kola Wale, which recognized the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, as the owners of the Labour Party and mandated that all, an all-inclusive and ex expansive national convention of the Labour Party be held. So you can imagine, like someone uh, rightly put that, Labour Party has one governor, 35 uh, House of Rep members. Is there about five or six uh, uh, sen senators? And then, of course, other uh, House of Assembly members and all of that. And they decided to do some sham convention in one local. I, I just don't even understand. When, 
you are big you should be big you, sh you should be able to come into it and recognize labor can be labor right now if not for the region should have been the ruling uh, party official ruling party there is so much potential there is so much that can come of, out of labor party but the mindset you know when they talk about this law of the lead where people you know you can't grow an organization between the beyond or above the mindset of the person that is leading that organization that's just what all of this is all about the potential the amazing thing that can come out of this whole thing i mean they are not saying it people are just fixated over one little part one little power that they can have or one little space that they can be the ones who are the, who are the dons who are running it so they really can see the bigger picture and what can be and how huge this can be labor has a potential to be the biggest you know party in in in, in africa but yet it's just limiting itself to to setting uh to setting low standards that by now they should have had grown there are so many people who are waiting our labor party should have by now be on the issue of massive recruitment i mean 10, 10 million registered members, 20 million registered members are things that can be done, that can be pushed, that can be, you know, things that can be done. But hey, it, it's all about mindset uh, and, 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 and it's just crazy, honestly. Let me come back to, to from uh, the, the press release from the Board of Trustees. The, the decision of the Board of Trustees also in furtherance of the agreement uh, signed between the former National Chairman of the Labour Party, Mr. Julius Abure, and the Nigeria Labour Congress and the Trade Union uh, Congress, TUC, on 27th of June 2022, which was mediated by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. While we commend members of the Labour Party, especially workers, students, youths, market women, men, obedience, and candidates on the platform of the Labour Party for their contribution and fidelity to the ideas of the party, the Board of Trustees promises to quickly set in motion processes for the conduct of an all-inclusive and expansive national convention, unlike the charade that took place today in Inewi uh, and in uh, Tandem, with the principles of popular uh, uh, of popular democracy, the all-inclusive national convention will start with grassroots congresses at ward, local government, and state, state, and ultimately at the national level. This process will not leave any genuine member of Labour Party and will be held in the full view of the Independent National Electoral Commission, media, civil society, security agents, and the general in, uh, general public. We commend the leader of the uh, Labour Party, Mr. Peter B, and key stakeholders in the Labour Party for declining to deodorize the uh, malfeasance that took place in Inewi with their presence. The BOT assures all stakeholders that we are committed to reclaiming and repositioning the Labour Party as a vehicle for the social, political emancipation of our dear country, our working people, and our uh, pop populace. Our comrade S.O.Z. Ijo for Chairman, Board of Trustees, Labour Party of Nigeria. I mean, <sighs> Labour Party has so much potential. Look at the NLC. NLC has members. How many of their members, workers all over the country? That population alone is enough for them to have that, you know, that power to be able to decide uh, on Nigeria having people that will lead it in terms of good governance, accountability, and transparency. But of course, as it is, leadership is everything. And when the leadership does not understand that the bigger picture is always be better than the personal picture, then these are some of the things that will uh, continue uh, to happen. And it's, it's really so sad that this is where we are currently on the issue of the Labour Party. But like I always said uh, to a lot of people that care to listen, is that, well, it, it, a Labour Party, you know, people, are, they look at the movement, obedient movement, Labour Party. Yes, there is a relationship, but that relationship is always based on the fact that there has to be, you know, uh, good governance, transparency and accountability, even within the party. And of course, the kind of candidates uh, that come out and are, are being projected. So, I mean, I'm just speechless at the fact that this is such a huge opportunity for Labour Party. But unfortunately, it seems as if some people in that Labour Party can't see this opportunity. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.